<clears throat> Welcome to another edition of QCB Unleashed. I'm the QCB. Hey, follow me on Twitter. QCB WFNZ. I just passed the following people on Twitter. Coolio, Mrs. Garrett from Facts of Life, Katy Perry, and Hugh Jackman. Yeah, Katy Perry got like 60 million Twitter followers. And, and real quick, entertainment news. You know, look, Katy Perry, Nicki Minaj, Taylor Swift, Tay Tay, as they call her. Nobody can touch Taylor Swift. She's the princess. She's the princess of America. She's America's sweetheart. Katy Perry, I don't use this as a Super Bowl. Start trying to get a Twitter beast. Well, and first of all, it's not a beef. Okay, it's not. It's not a beef. You know. You know what happens to beef in hip hop? Death. People die. Get shot. This is not a beef. Okay. So let's stop saying it's a Twitter beef. It's just some rich girls acting like teenagers. Anyway, um, move on. Hey, Ken on the Panthers, we doing a show today on Prime Town Chris Kroger, your favorite Panther memory. I got three of them in particular. Number one, uh, I'm a Cowboys fan, but I, I got I got all type of great Ken on the Panthers memories. My first one, when John Casey kicked the ball out of bounds in the kickoff and caused y'all asses to get y'all butt whooped in the Super Bowl. I love that. That was a great Panther memory. Uh, number two, hey, 2002, Michael Vick. They brought them. He brought the Atlanta Falcons to Charlotte and whooped the Panthers forty-one to nothing. And to add on to that, that season you got outscored by the Falcons seventy-one to zero. That's a great Panther memory. Uh, and I got to end on this one because uh, I could do this like I do with knocking boots all night long. Um, um, oh, last year, I think it was week five. Uh, <laughs> I was it week four. It was in September. You went up to Baltimore, and Steve Smith Sr. opened up the biggest can of whoop-ass he's ever opened in his life. He single-handedly beat the Panthers by himself. He, he scored a touchdown on offense. He scored a touchdown on defense. He scored a touchdown on offense, so special teams. He sold hot dogs at halftime. He was, I mean, he did everything. And Jim, I mean, uh, not Jim Harbaugh, John Harbaugh gave him the freaking game ball. Wow, that was a nice path of memory. And I'm ending on this for the second week in a row. Ant-Man is number one in the box office. That's right. That's right. Adam Sandler, Pixels, Kevin James, he pack enough stars in there, all them 80s games, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong. That's right. That's right. Ant-Man whooped his butt. That's right. Ant-Man, he's coming to it. You, you. Yeah, oh, this is what Ant-Man does, man. He's going to a theater near you. That's it. I'm out.